Hello, pandas! Exciting run today! And this could quite possibly be the most I've ever seen from a single scrap load. I can't wait to find out. Let's go see. Oh, yes. That's not bad. No, I'm not going to show you where I got it from. That would be telling. Okay, I will tell you. But first we've got to unload it because we can add some value to this with a little bit of processing. Alrighty. Now let's make it easy for them to pay us a lot of money. This stuff's already pretty clean. It's not going to take a whole lot to clean it up. Just removing all the uh, all the little plasticky insulationy bits and pieces. But they may also want the uh, the truly unused stuff separated from the stuff that's got a little corrosion inside. So we'll probably do that too. Dead simple on these. Love it. There's one. Come on, you. All right. That one's fine. Now, a number of you copper hounds are probably going to be wondering how, where, why? Well, truth is, this isn't my stash. I don't get to keep all the money. This is from my HVAC friend, Smasher. And this is. A little over a year of collecting for him. Just saving up all the little bits and pieces, that's steel, that are too short for uh, to actually be useful anywhere. He's just really busy with work right now, and I figured I might enjoy bringing it in. Save him some time. He might throw me a little bit. Um, for doing it. There's not very much of this that has solder on it. Here we are. Super, super easy to upgrade. We got some number two, some number one right there, and a couple teeny little pieces of brass. I'm probably just gonna leave those behind because it's not worth, not worth bringing in like this. <clears throat> he won't mind. A lot of these look pretty new. I just need to go through them and find all the all the plastics. This is actually pretty fun. And then these pieces, of course. Hopefully I can just slide all that off. Yeah, aha! So much scrap copper. Wow. Okay. To me, now it's all relative, right? To me, this is an insane scrap copper haul. Like I've never had, I don't think, maybe? It's not common for me to have this much. 
However, this is my friend Stash from all the scrap copper he's collected as an HVAC guy for one, maybe two years. I'm not really sure exactly how long, but if you were a plumber or an electrician, you would probably manage to stash up even more scrap copper because it's, it's kind of just one of the materials that an HVAC person will use, right? Still, it looks pretty good to me. Let's go see how good, eh? Oh, yeah! Very good! I'm excited too! Yeah. Happy New Year, eh? Right? <laughs> Should be a good day. As long as there's no paint, no solder, it's number one. Wow. 244 pounds of clean number one copper pipe. At $4.65 Canadian per pound, plus the two pounds of number two that had that little bit of solder on there, $1,143.25. That's not bad at all. I wish it was mine, but you know what? I'm just having fun whenever I get to see a big pile of copper. So that was good enough for me. I hope it was fun for you guys. That's how much copper you can save up if you're working in a trade. Even more if you're a plumber or an electrician. Now, uh, let's go get my friend his money. Thanks for coming along. Check out the merch store if you haven't already. Leave it better than you found it. Keep doing the thing. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.